Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharala. Kol Holoyim La, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Haracha Kodash for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwa that's keeping the faith in the work. Shout keep at it. This is your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. It's the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 3. says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right? The particular vision that this uh, epistle is speaking on is Revelation 13, <clears throat> where it speaks about... Um, a karagma, which is Greek for Mark, that um, will be given by the beast. It's the karagma of the beast, right? <clears throat> and if a person don't take it, they won't be able to buy or sell. And this karagma will go in your head and hand, or head or hand, right? So, this is one portion of that prophecy. So let me let this video play and I'll be back. Next, we have big news coming up from the tech world. Elon Musk's Neuralink has received the green light from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for its human trial. This is a big deal because the brain implant company earlier faced many struggles to gain approval. Right now, the company is playing its cards close to its chest, but it did mention that it has not begun recruiting and will provide more information soon. Musk believes brain implants could cure a range of conditions, including obesity, autism, depression, and schizophrenia. It was only last year when he said that he was so confident in the device's safety that he would be willing to implant them in his children. But it has not been an easy journey for Neuralink. Musk had predicted human trials four times since 2019, but only applied for FDA approval in early 2022, and the application was initially rejected. According to reports, the FDA was initially concerned about the device's lithium battery and wires inside the brain. It also raised concerns about the challenge of safely extracting the device without damaging brain tissue. Neuralink, on the other hand, has been investigated by federal agencies multiple times. In May, U.S. lawmakers urged regulators to investigate the process of animal testing at Neuralink. There were concerns about rushed and failed experiments. The Department of Transportation is also looking into whether Neuralink transported dangerous pathogens without proper safety measures. While the U.S. Department of Agriculture is probing Neuralink for potential animal welfare violations, the company hasn't commented on these investigations yet. Right. This is the book of Syrac, which is Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, and verse 16. It says, An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. But in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes. But if you find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. All right. So, like, uh, you know, we've been saying, when I say we, I'm talking about the men of the Lord. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, us learning from our elders before us. <clears throat> Nine times out of ten. Really, I say 10 out of 10, they're going to come sweet. Like like the lady just said, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Elon say that uh, it has the potential to cure diseases, and they're probably even going to throw in a uh, gives you an extended life. They're going to throw all kind of sweetness with it, man, but not telling the whole truth about the purpose of this thing. Because like I said, man, or like it says in the scripture, Revelation 13, this is way bigger than just the, just the chill just being real this solidifies your soul being completely sold to the devil this 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 
shows the most high that you care you could care less about his word at all. Right? And that's why it's a judgment written in Revelation 14 for individuals who take this thing. And it ain't no way around it. Right? It says in the scriptures, man, if you take this, destruction is your future. Period. Point blank. So if you fall for what the devil pushing with this thing, amen, it is what it is. Sirach chapter 12 and verse 17. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. All right? He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. All right? He going to reveal himself for real, for real. All right? When that time comes, he already doing it because we're in a time of revelation right now. All right? The where the Most High is revealing all things. And one of those things that uh, the Most High is revealing is who the wicked is. Right, according to Second Thessalonians, right, and the the acts that the wicked would do, and like I said, this is one of those acts according to Revelation thirteen. All right, let me go to the Book of Psalms. Book of Psalms. Um, thirty six. Psalms thirty six. From the top, it says, to the chief musician, the psalm of David, the servant of Yahweh, the transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of power before his eyes can be. Right? Because if, if the devil did fear, Yahweh by Shem, he wouldn't be doing the things that he did, but he's made that way. Right? It says, for he flattereth himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. Right? So... <clears throat> until it be found out exactly what time it is, this devil is going to uh, continue to do what he do what he does. And the people that follow the devil is going to continue to believe that this man is really trying to push all of mankind forward. Right. With the, with the dreams that they, be, that they push that we all know it is really lies. Right. Verse three, it says the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He hath left off to be wise and to do good. He devises mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhorreth not evil. All right, so, yeah. <laughs> FDA says it's cool to start human trials. So, I would imagine you may start seeing like commercials or something on TV where they, you know, like they test people and they pay you a certain amount to get tested for this thing. Yeah, just know this thing is that thing. <laughs> this is a part of that thing. All right? Head or hand. This is it. All right? So, but that, that's also a testament of the times that we're living in. So, let me go to First Peter. Chapter 4 and verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Man, I call Haloyim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bashim Harakakodash, man. We're able to see this. Right? Because damn this place, man. Like just being real. That's the whole purpose of us um, doing what we do. Try to, you know, it says in the scriptures that things have to happen before the day of the Lord come. Right? One of those things that has to happen is the prophets have to prophesy. And then whatever the prophets are prophesying about has to come to pass. Because they're not prophesying um, thus says the prophet. They're prophesying thus says the Lord. So the Lord's word is true. So all of these things have to come to pass. Right? And, and we're blessed to be able to see it and it's happening. Right, because like I said, damn this place, man. This ain't our place of rest, man. And as long as this place exists, we will forever be servants. Right? Forever be at the bottom of society. There will always be a ghetto, always be a hood, and it will only get worse and worse and worse as years go by. Cause that's that's just how it goes. Imagine this place if the most high allowed it fifty years from now. In the hoods and in the ghettos. In this world period. 
Man, that's a scary thought right there, man. So, no, I fully believe that the most high is like we there. And this place only got a certain amount of time left because the wickedness just continues to grow. Right? And there's only so much that the most high is gonna allow this place um to reach. This Revelation chapter 18 and verse 5 says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and power hath remembered her iniquities. So there's only so much evil that the, the Most High is going to allow this place to, uh, you know, like I said, to reach. And once that time comes, that's it. And like I said, I can't see this place. I can't see this place 50 years from now with the way the world is and how it's, how it's moving. Right, fifty years from now won't be uh, won't be no such thing as a man or a woman. It's just gonna be a being. Right, fifty years from now, shit, may not be no law and order. It'll just be <laughs> like on some Mad Max. It just it'll just be bad, man. So, the most high, man, yeah, he he can't move fast enough, right? <laughs> But we understand that all things are done in his time. It's not a, it's not according to ours. Right? His thoughts are not our thoughts. So the most I know what he's doing and we trust that. Right? But like I said, man, we see this place done. These folks now okay the karagma in one's head. We so yeah, stay circumspect, man. Stay watching, stay prayed up, stay in the faith. Keep your works, man. You know what I'm saying? Understand and, and trust and believe in your whole Shimmy Hawa Shai to the best of your ability with everything that's in you. Uh, maintain good works. And so with that, I say, call Holoyim La, your whole Shimmy Hawa Shai, Bashim Haro Kakudashi, most high willing, your whole Shimmy Hawa Shai, Rathazadi, precepts for edifying. Shalom, Yashallah.